we win, doggone, get at least get every one off. And so that's why I'm reaching out to everybody. I would rather have your vote than $5 when you walk around. Y'all keep, if you got $500, just go find 10 other people that are going to vote for me in front of me. I'll do better. Well, I've got a question about uh, national debt. Yes, sir. Uh, something I've been curious about and I have not been able to find any um, uh, real answers on. Right now, to other countries, we owe approximately four to five trillion dollars. The rest of that we owe to ourselves. If we were to just now, I know the debt to the other countries is valid. Is valid. It must be paid somewhere down the line. Somebody's going to come call. It. But what we owe to ourselves, what would be the ramifications to just zero that account out? and say, that's no longer standing, we're screwed up, we're back on zero balance with the American people, our obligations are to the other countries, and that would make it something that we could pay off. Because what we've got now... All that, the economy would collapse overnight. You can't do that. What has to happen first, okay, in 1913, they did three things. They set up the Central Bank, which presidents before had fought against. Right. Lincoln was one of them. I think Andrew Jackson uh, was another. Jackson was one of the biggest proponents, yes. or biggest opponents. Last, last president where we had zero debt was Andrew Jackson. Yeah. In 1913, they gave us the Central Bank. They gave us. The 16th Amendment, the IRS, the ability for them to win. 1913. So, uh, yep. Action. Action. Uh, 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 Central Bank, uh, 16th Amendment. I think that's when they gave us the 17th Amendment, too. There were three key things that they took, but related to the debt, those are the two that you, you can go about. Why? Because in order to operate the way that they were going to operate from then forward, they needed the ability to create money out of thin air. They needed the ability to create the illusion of wealth. So they now say, OK, we want to spend, I'm just going to use small numbers. We want to spend a million dollars this year on various programs. But we've only got a thousand dollars. How will we overcome? Oh, we got a central bank. Yeah, I know we only got a thousand dollars in the bank and we got no way of paying it back, but that's all right. We got a central bank. Central bank, print us $999,000. That will cover what we want to spend this million dollars worth of debt. Well, now, who's going to back that $999,000? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll write you an IOU for it. But that IOU is worthless. Well, now, if the IOU is worthless, where are we going to get our money back that we loan you? This is a simple bank talking. But where are we going to get our money back that we just printed out of the thin air from you? Oh, we got you covered. We'll put it on the backs of the American workers. As long as they work and earn money, this, this debt will be paying you back with that debt. But it's all worthless. It's just a shell game. And so year after year, Congress will increase the amount of money that they spend, and the Federal Reserve will print however much money is needed to cover that spending. And we, the American people, the new slaves, I did a video, and I hope this don't offend anybody. 
I said, there was a time when we had indentured slaves, black folk. They called them niggas back then. Now we got new niggas in this country. That's every American citizen that goes to work. Okay? That is the absolute God honest truth. I don't even carry dollar bills in my pocket. I don't even carry paper money anymore because it's worthless. The indentured service could buy themselves out. <laughs> yeah. We can't yeah, we can. Can. <laughs> can. 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 You can't live without not raising chickens anymore. You have to have cash to pay your taxes. You can't live off the land anymore. But, 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 but get to a solution. First, we need a balanced budget amendment because we don't have one. <clears throat> what is a balanced budget amendment going to do? It's going to legally and lawfully stop them from spending what they don't have. Because we can't ask them, man, okay, you spent X number in 2013. Don't raise the debt ceiling again in 2014. That just means that the Federal Reserve is going to print more money and get us for it. Don't do that. So as long as we allow them to continue signing, continuing resolutions and raising the debt ceiling, the growth of our debt will never stop. And eventually, we will collapse. So first step, balanced budget amendment. That will stop the growth of debt. Then we start electing people that expose this pork and waste. Neil talk has a great book he keeps telling me about that talks about the amount of waste in DC, but nobody exposes it. Nobody exposes it because everybody up there wants their pet projects and their pork. Did they tell you that when remember the government shutdown, right? The supposed government shutdown. Do you know that when they passed that, they snuck some portion in that too? Now, government shut down. We got people that they got paid in three weeks. Do you know they gave uh, $3 million to a firm that's supposed to be a watchdog for the American people to see if our representatives are violating any of our constitutional protections? <coughs> I thought that's why we elected them to those five million black people. Why we got to pay $3 million to a private firm to do what they're supposed to be doing. Hell, Eric Snow did it for free. <laughs> oh, Eric Snow, he did it for free because he quit. He didn't do it. It cost him. This, 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 he's on the run. But you get my point? So we need a balanced budget amendment. We need to start trimming back what we spend. We need to start getting the government out of the business that they have no business in, returning those powers back to the states and its citizens. That is the only way to do it from a drawdown perspective. That's, there is no other way. There is no other way. Talk to uh, the Convention of States movement that's going on there. The who now? Convention of States, Article 5. Oh, yeah, Article 5. Yeah. Uh, is that the notification thing you're talking about? Or? No, yeah. it's a convention of states where state legislators petition Congress to hold a convention to amend the Constitution. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a great idea, but realistically speaking, it ain't going to happen. We just passed it in Georgia. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but how many other states you got to get to do that? 37. You think you're going to get 30? I mean, realistically speaking, you think you'll get 37 states too? Realistically speaking, you think you're going to get away with it, but you're still trying, right? There you go. I'm not saying. We've got to try. If we don't try, we don't win. Okay, and, 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 and my thing is is, is, is is this I always focus on low hanging fruit. And when I tell people about low hanging fruit, so I get folks to send me stuff all the time. I've been sent information on nullification, and I've heard about the convention say I know looked into it, into the detail of it. Uh, I get sent stuff on uh, chemtrails, I get sent stuff on 9-11 incidents. I get stuff all the time. And what I always come back to is this. I have enough low-hanging fruit that I can use 
that I believe will get me elected. So what do you mean by low-hanging fruit? All of this stuff is valid. The low-hanging fruit I'm talking about is stuff that's documented on government letterhead. It is the corruption that is easily exposable. And when it's exposed, the people will do differently. I just need to get in the room first. See, if I can get, who better to fight for what you're talking about than somebody that you can get into the room? I'm with you. So that, that's, this is the approach I have chosen. I'm not knocking yours. If you can get the 37 states to do it, that's still a win for me, you know, if I don't get elected. Because something has got to change, else we're going to hell in the handcuff. And, and, and I believe in this concept, we all may not cross the river in the same boat, but as long as there's more than one person building a boat, and we all want to get to the other side of the bank, that's still a win for me. Because we got to get to the other side of the bank to effect change. So if that's what's working, fine. I'm not knocking it. I ask the question, if you think you can do it realistically, go for it. I think I have a better chance of getting in the room right now. Because see, if I get in the room, I can start shining the light. What the citizens asking is, Support that. Yes, I would. Anything that is going to restore the constitutionality of, of, of this country, bring us back to what was intended. So I said earlier, I, I believe wholeheartedly in the prodigal son. You got to return to righteousness in order to be restored. There's no other way around it. So by any means necessary. That doesn't necessarily involve the loss of life or the shedding of blood. Of course, I would prefer nonviolent means, but there will come a time if something don't change, we won't have any other choice. So, this may be low hanging fruit on the back of the tree. You're ready to grab when the time comes if the 32nd state passes. I will support it. What, I, I, what, what, what they say is if you and I agree on 100%, one of us is unnecessary. So, it, it's okay. <laughs> 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 it's not a true statement. That, that's okay. We just have a different way. Are all making fruit different? That's okay. Yes, yes. We, we just, we're just taking different approaches. But the end result, I think we both want the same in the outcome. end result. Absolutely. We both Absolutely. want the same outcome. It yes. sounds like he's just willing to go into the fight now and utilize the tools of the establishment that he can use to try to make change now effectively, whereas you and I would believe that maybe we need to settle for a possibility of a continental Congress to come about like what happened during the Revolutionary War. Well, Barry, I, I'm just, which is a I'm going to tell you, you asked for commitment, I want to commit to you. I, I like you. I want to vote for you, I want to help you. I just want to flesh you out a little bit. <laughs> there is a nullification movement going about. There it's is. called the jury nullification. Yeah, you can see that right now. That's what I've got. So that's what I've been hearing about. Well, and we need to educate the public on what it means. Yeah. But you need to educate me and tell all of them. Both of them. Because the symbols have been also. Oh, he's been trying to do that. He's 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 trying to As well as the accused. Yeah. So if we don't believe that law is a just law, we can declare that person not guilty of any crime because the law is unjust. I got something as simple as that. I just did that. Well, eminent domain is one of those laws. Yes. That is not just. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rod, if you go in, if you are in the running, you think as a juror, or if you say anything about it, if you say the words jury and notification in the same sentence, you're out. They don't like you to be informed. <laughs> well, of course so not. get informed and then shut the track. I have a question for you. I know there's someone that we can that we can record and we can send information on a fairly regular basis that might be interested so you can disperse it to your members or send it to our send it to our web page or not towards it. Yeah, just put it, put it, just put it on, our, on our Facebook page. Yeah. I mean, we're the, the kind of the you're planning on the joint of the night with the Sunday, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. With the news crew. 